This is the Volvo Ninjas Podcast, Episode 6, Total Recall. Is there a new season of Top Gear out? I don't think so. I'm looking that up right now. That just, the whole entire alternate means thing made me think, oh, wait a second, Top Gear. Are they still making American Top Gear? Oh, no, that got, shot, that got shot down a long time ago. You want to know Thank why? God, because Leno sucks. Nuts. Well, actually, no, because they would have had Adam Carolla in it as well. And Adam Carolla is a oh. very, very funny man. But, um, no, the reason why I got shot down is because no one wanted to advertise on the show. Not a single, like, car brand. No, no one agreed to advertise for it because they were afraid that the show was going to be critical of their products and they, you know, wouldn't get essentially a spotlight. They were afraid that the show was going to be like the British Top Gear where they would tell you if a car actually sucks. Cause I mean, why would Honda want, or yeah, why would Honda want to advertise on a show that's going to rip into one of their cars? Or worse yet, Toyota. Yeah. Or worse yet, Toyota. So, I mean, yeah, they're getting ripped apart right now. It, it's really sad that the advertising, uh, well, that all of the corporate, that no one was willing to sponsor the show. I guess that's the thing that's really sad. I mean, I wish some of the car com- or I wish any company would have, you know, the balls to say, all right, let's do it. I want to see this, regardless of if they're hard on us or not. Yeah. Can we, um, Talk about Toyota. <laughs> what about it? I just want I, I want to talk to Toyota about car people or with car people because whenever I try bringing up um, Toyota with any of my friends, they're just like, "Oh yeah, they have the Prius." <laughs> and and <laughs> quite frankly, I I just I, I hate that. Um, the fact that they're they they can't make a product to you know save their own lives. Well, the thing is, is that they could, but anymore they're they're Are you falling into the Toyota quality. It's bad. Well, the I'm thing is, that it's... bad. Well, in fact, I don't. The fact I that mean, all these recalls doesn't help anybody's case. Yeah, and I mean, it's the oh, well, they're not terrible right now. They are by no means what they used to be in terms of reliability. I mean, my mom had an '85 Corolla that albeit rusted out, is still ro- running around to this day. With yeah, like well, I, I had an 81 no that still runs. So it's not a, it's a throttle-by-wire crap that they're trying to push. That's all it is. Yeah, but the, the thing is, is... Hun, I, or, I got a Toyota I, guy here, actually. Huh? I got a Toyota buddy over here hanging out, actually. He's uh, listening he's in. Board, yeah. <laughs> What's up, dude? Hey, hey. It's a oh, master cylinder. That's the cylinder. He's got like a. Oh, so you guys are see, so, so you guys are drinking beers and stuff, right? No, he, he didn't, didn't bring that beers. Oh, lame. Come out. That's from the same cloth here. Did you I didn't hear that. that. <laughs> Start at eight, not end at eight. Yeah, we're, we're still not, I don't know, the whole Eastern Central time thing. I keep, you know, I, I just keep slipping my mind that you guys are different time zone, I mean. But yeah. Are you guys all three in the same time zone? No. Uh, what time is it over two, there? It's, here it is uh, 9.32. Here it's 8.32. Yeah. Uh, yeah, Me and uh, Volvo Ninja are out on the East Coast. Did Volvo Ninja step out to smoke or urinate or fap or something? Cause... No, I'm here. I'm oh. just... Yeah, we haven't heard it for a while. Oh, okay, there he is. I'm just, <laughs> I'm, just, I'm just listening to the conversation. It's actually Back about the Toyota thing, though, they have nowhere near as many recalls as some other American companies I can you know name off the top oh, of Oh, yeah. Ford has I mean, like the largest. It's like a really small percentage. I've got like... Hang on. Well, Ford still has one that's ongoing right now with the Ford Explorer that is the largest recall in yeah. history. They also, well, so they, also, they, 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 also, 
They also came up with a they also have a new one with the um the Mustang. Another tire issue. And the fact is that they can't pinpoint which cars have it and which don't because they're idiots. What do you so know? did you yeah. know about the the Nissan Murano had an issue with the fuel tank it like burst into flames uh <laughs> what? for a recall. Awesome. And they end up recalling it. Dude, that is an excellent car. More cars should do that. Like Lamborghini Gallardo. I mean, how many of those have you seen on fire? Okay, all right. So I've got this chart oh, here that says this year Toyota had maybe like just under 6 million recalls. Last year Ford had over 12 million. Just, I mean, it's like across the board. And yeah. like in 1996, I guess that's like that's like around the – so around the – like. Explorer fiasco. I mean, the, the the Explorer fiasco is still going on to this very day. I mean, yeah, they're still finding I mean, things. Like, like in a in a you know in the whole long of things, Toyota's actually not that bad. I have I've I've owned like two Toyotas myself, and I hate them. They're just they're, they're you know they're everything good, can go wrong. Cars. They'll still be off. Yeah. You should bring back the Supra. That was a cool car. Well, our, uh, Toyota is teaming up with Subaru to come out with some, like, 12-cylinder, all-wheel drive, whatever nonsense. That new concept or whatever. No, it's it's supposed to be a takeoff of the, the quote-unquote AE86 from it's the 84 to 87 model and it's supposed to have a flat naturally inspired flat four with a rear wheel drive the all wheel drive is still uh, really rear. yeah it's yeah yeah it's the engine is boxer style it's like similar to Subaru like the engine layout but it's supposed to be rear wheel drive only yeah, it's but there there's still rumors that they're gonna try and do it, but the main reason they're doing it all wheel drive and the boxer motor is because the they're able to get the lower center center of gravity with the boxer motor because they don't have but with the all wheel drive they have to raise the center of gravity and push the engine actually mm-hmm. forward more forward. Yeah. <laughs> But um, oh, here it is the FTHS concept. That um, that car I posted up, that Supra, yeah, is right there. That's what they have to bring back. Bring back. Oh, you're right. It is I mean, a two liter four cylinder. Can yeah, I uh, uh, think- uh, club FT eighty six dot org, I believe, or dot com, uh, one of those. But I think the one you. Uh, we're thinking of super wise was the the Lexus uh, LFA. LFA. The yeah, VTM. I saw that person. That's a that's a whole lot of something. I don't know. <sighs> yeah, I mean, I don't. Well, I, don't I still the top, have to see about that. Did you see the top gear the Top Gear review on it? Uh, no. Mm-hmm. It's still, uh, they, all they bashed about. Yeah, I mean, they pretty much said that it was. It was a Lexus. It was kind of like a soulless Lexus, essentially. Awesome. <laughs> Interesting. That's the stuff I like. I love when people else. bash cars. I just love it. As long as they're coming from a good, you know, as long as they have reason. Standing. Yeah. 